Well, perhaps you tell me some of the issues that you think are the most important in this campaign. Jackie Bouvier was only 21 and on a trip to Ireland when she met the man who would become part confessor, part advisor, and part pen pal, the 73-year-old Irish priest Joseph Leonard. From the start, she wrote about her most intimate thoughts. For example, a New York stockbroker she was dating. So terribly much in love for the first time, and I want to get married. It's the deepest, happiest feeling in the world. That relationship ended. But when she met the young and ambitious John Kennedy, she wrote about that, too. He's like my father, in a way, loves to chase and is bored with the conquest, and once married needs proof he's still attractive, so flirts with other women and resents you. Still, after they married, she added to one letter, New address, please note. An arrow pointed to the word Hyannisport, the Kennedy family compound. There are 33 letters in all to be auctioned off. The auction house will only say they are selling them from a private source. They are letters to Father Leonard from 1950 to 1964, 130 pages about religion. I terribly want to be a good Catholic now, and I know it's all because of you, about living the high life. Maybe I'm just dazzled and picture myself in a glittering world of crowned heads and men of destiny, and not just a sad little housewife. That world can be very glamorous from the outside, but if you're in it and you're lonely, it could be a hell. And when her husband, now the president, was gunned down in Dallas, she wrote, I think God must have taken Jack to show the world how lost we would be without him. But that is a strange way of thinking to me. God will have a bit of explaining to do to me if I ever see him. Although, she added, I have to think there is a God or I have no hope of finding Jack again. Father Leonard died in 1964, and most of all, the letters reveal a deep affection between the young woman and the aging priest, so much so that even though they met only twice in life, on paper they appear still and forever friends.